What if I told you that becoming a Minecraft pro doesn't take dozens of steps and years of practice, but one step? Would you believe me? Well, I'm gonna tell it to you. First off though, a little explanation because just the tip by itself will make it feel like it's too simple or that it won't work or that I'm just telling you to do something dumb, but there's real explanation behind this. So Minecraft, as I assume is for you right now, before you prone, before you know this strategy, is about maybe this fun, okay? Just like a round fun, right? When you try this strategy, then it is gonna go down in funness. But, 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 as you practice it more and more and more and more, it is going to go up and up and up until Minecraft is more fun for you than it was before. And it'll be really like cool that you're really good at it because the entire time your skills are gonna go like this so what is this strat or tip that i'm proposing well just a little bit more explanation first you learn the very most from your mistakes you learn more from your mistakes than from your successes so when you play minecraft just like in the traditional sense and preparing for big adventures as we all have done before getting all your stuff then when you make a mistake, like you die, or like when you finally do get out of that comfort zone of your own house and your garden to go do stuff, you die, that is a mistake. And you have to learn from that. But if you spend so much time in your comfort zone and not making mistakes, then you learn less. Sure, it's more comfortable, but you're not becoming as good as quick. So this strategy is to have a set goal of what you want to do in each Minecraft world. Usually something like beating the game or getting a live drop, but it could be something like raiding a bastion as well. Something more higher game that you want to get to as quick as possible. Don't worry about building a house or making a farm or any of that stuff that detracts from that goal. Have a goal that will be hard for you, that you'll have a lot of deaths, mistakes, resets, new worlds along the way, and kind of just speedrun for that goal as far as you can and make lots of mistakes. Die, I mean, not, don't try to die, but put yourself in situations where you are gonna die a bunch, but you'll learn until you'll be able to beat Minecraft without dying first try, or at least first or second try. And when you get to around that point where you can beat Minecraft at least decently, consistently, then that's when I'd say that you're actually doing really well. You can go back to playing how you wanted to. You don't have to like have this permanent like change. But next time that you are building your house or doing any of these stuff and you get into a tough situation, you'll know how to react because you will have built up the reflexes and the smarts to do it. So thank you so much for watching. If this does help you, please like the video and subscribe. I help people with their Minecraft skills all the time, but I also do some cool Minecraft challenges with my friends as well. Awesome Player 98 out.